Hey guys, Chris Fix here, and today I'm going to show you how to restore your headlights permanently so your hazy oxidized headlights go from this to this. All for around $10 a headlight. You might have seen other methods that get your headlights clear, like kits that you buy in the store such as the 3M kit. You also might have seen some home remedies such as using baking soda, toothpaste, vinegar, bug spray. All of these methods are only temporary and the lights will just become hazy and oxidized over time. This method I'm about to show you is the only permanent method that doesn't require any maintenance, such as adding wax or adding a sealer every so often. Not only do hazy oxidized headlights look bad, they also decrease the value in your car. So not only will you make your car look better, but you're actually going to help increase the value of the car by fixing your headlights. So here's everything you're going to need to do the job. You got some scissors, a garbage bag, and tape. This is for taping off your headlight. If you're going to keep the headlight on your car or truck, then you're going to need to tape it off and use garbage bags to protect the paint. Now if you're going to remove the headlight from the car or truck, then you might just need some tape. We have our paper towels, we have sandpaper, we have three types of sandpaper. We have our 400 grit, 600 grit, and then 2000 grit. If your headlights are really yellow, oxidized, and hazy, then you're going to have to use 400 grit. But if they're not that bad, you could start with 600 grit. And we're going to be doing a wet sand, so you're going to have to use a spray bottle or some type of water source. So a hose, a spray bottle, something like that. And then finally when you're done doing everything you're gonna have to clean it off with alcohol before you go to the final step which is using a clear coat. In this case we're using a gloss clear and it's made for plastic and the big thing is you want it to be non-yellowing and UV resistant. The reason why your headlights are all foggy and they're yellowing and they're oxidized is because the clear coat on the headlights gets chipped off over time from rocks hitting it, from just wear and tear of driving, and this is going to put a nice barrier so that the plastic can't get yellow and hazy again. Most people have scissors and a garbage bag and some paper towels, but if you're going to buy the other stuff, it'll cost you around 20 bucks. So you figure to make your headlights permanently clear, $10 a headlight, that's not bad. Especially since some headlights could cost over $100. I've seen headlights that are $250 each. So let's go, I'll show you the whole process. It's quick, it's easy, and you get awesome results that last the lifetime of your headlight. So the first step I would take is if your headlights are easily removable, I would remove them. It's a lot easier to do this off the car. Unfortunately for the PT Cruiser, it's a little bit of a pain. You have to undo a bunch of stuff. It's just not worth it, so I'm gonna paint it on the car. And just to show you what kind of results you should expect, I did this a little while ago. I was testing out different methods, different sanding grits, different clear coats, and what I'm about to show you is how I got my best results. And you can see, look how clear those are. And this is permanently clear. This method will work on any headlight, get it nice and clear. And you already saw the results, so let me show you how you get those results. These headlights are pretty bad, so I'm going to start with 400 grit sandpaper. If your headlights aren't this bad, you could start with 600 grit sandpaper. 400's a little bit more gritty, 600 is more fine. And then we'll finish it off with a little bit of 2000 grit, which is super fine. Because we're keeping the headlights on the vehicle, now is a good time to get your tape out and we're going to tape around the whole edge here and just leave a nice barrier so we don't scratch the paint. I'm using extra wide painter's tape. It just helps later on when we're going to put the garbage bag around this because we have to cover the paint on the vehicle. So now we have the whole edge covered. There's no car paint exposed anywhere in here. So now I have my 400 grit sandpaper and I have water and I'm just going to spray the headlight with water. I'm going to get my sandpaper and I'm going to spray my sandpaper with water. Make sure both surfaces are nice and wet. The water acts as a lubricant and prevents deep scratches into the surface here. You just want light scratches to buff out any oxidation you have. And you want to constantly keep the surface wet as you're doing this. And I'm not pressing hard. Just go in a circular motion. Now as you do this, with the 400 grit, you'll notice like a milky color running down. That's all that oxidized yellowing plastic that's coming off your headlight, and that's good. You don't want to go crazy with the 400 grit. You don't want to press really hard. You'll press harder with the 600 grit, since 400 grit's pretty coarse. On a headlight like this, you also want to get into the groove right here. And then our final sand with the 400 grit is going to be a horizontal sand, so not a swirl anymore, a horizontal sand. So 
So you can see our scratches are horizontal. They aren't swirled anymore. That's that last step that we did. The reason why I want horizontal scratches is so that when you spray your clear coat, it's less likely to run and has an edge to grab onto. I don't see any more of that yellow oxidation or haze. I just see the haze that's created from my sanding. So now we can move to the 600 grit. Again, get your headlight nice and soaking wet. Get your sandpaper nice and soaking wet. Start with the 600 grit. With the 600 grit, you could press a little bit harder. You can see the finer plastic particles coming off the headlight right now. That's really good. That's what you want to see. Now that we did a bunch of the swirling motion with the 600 grit, we're going to switch to the horizontal sanding. And with the final horizontal sanding with the 600 grit, we have that top layer of the oxidized headlight completely removed, and also the headlight lens is getting really smooth. So now that we finished with our 600 grit, we're gonna go move up to the 2000 grit, but before we move up to the 2000 grit, we need to clean these off. Just gonna use some water and wipe it down with a paper towel. The reason why we do that is because the 2000 grit is very fine, and any of the plastic particulate that's still on here is gonna clog up the sandpaper and then you're not going to get a good final sand. And this final sand is going to help you get a really good finish on your clear coat. So just spray it down, and then get a paper towel and wipe it down. Now we're going to do our 2000 grit. It's going to be a wet sand as well. You don't want to press really hard on this, you just want to skim the surface. You're just going to cut down some of the edge that the 600 grit put on here. And after you do enough of the swirling motion, you could do the horizontal motion here. And this is going to be the final touch. Good, you can see even with the 2000 grit, this looks a lot better than it did. It's still going to be hazy, don't worry about that. That's important, you want it to be hazy. There's still going to be micro scratches on the surface here. The clear coat's going to fill that in. Now you're going to dry it with a paper towel. And after you're done drying, you'll see a nice haze on here. So now we're going to get our alcohol and we're going to go put it on a low lint paper towel, something so that the lint doesn't get all up on here. And we're just going to clean the headlight lens off. The alcohol removes any oils from your hands that may have gotten onto the lens and it also makes the lens dry quickly because alcohol evaporates quickly. So as your alcohol is drying on that lens, cut your garbage bag open so it's nice and large. Take your garbage bag, completely cover the front of the car. Now the whole point of doing this is because when you spray your clear coat on your headlight, you don't want the paint to overspray onto your hood or whatever paint or plastic that you have. With the garbage bag all laid out like this, we're going to get our tape and just tape up the garbage bag so it's nice and tight. So the bag is all taped down. Now we're going to go cut out the headlight. You can see the headlights right here. Just lift up the plastic, get a hole in it and just cut around the edge of the headlight. Good, now you can see we have this tape around here which gives us a good gap so you don't have to cut it exactly on the headlight. In fact, you don't want to cut it exactly on the headlight. You want to cut it over so you have some room to put some more tape, like that, and it'll stick down. So now we're going to tape the rest of this headlight off and then we can begin our spray. We're going to do one more wipe down with the alcohol just to make sure that there's no dirt, there's no oils from your fingers on here, none of that. And we'll let that dry. With the headlight nice and dry, we're going to start our clear coat application. Make sure you follow the instructions on your clear coat. So I'm going to give you guys this side view so you can see how I clear coat over the headlight. This is the final step, so make sure you don't mess it up here. You don't want thick coats. Thick coats are going to run. Make sure you do light coats, even sprays, don't worry about it. If it doesn't look good, we're doing multiple layers. It'll clear itself right up and it'll make itself look good, trust me. That's all you wanna do. Now we're gonna let it sit for five minutes and then we'll add another coat. This is after our first coat and I just wanna give you an idea of what it's gonna look like. It's not gonna look perfect. You can see there's little, it's called orange peel. It's just from the spray paint going on there. We're going to get more layers of it. 
it's going to look a lot better. But don't put this on thick because then it's going to run and it won't look good. But eventually it's going to look really clear and really nice. After about five minutes later, we're ready for our second coat. Good, we'll let that sit for another five minutes and we'll do one more coat. Make sure when you're spraying you're also getting the top edge of the light and the corners of the light. Depending on how your light is shaped, you want to make sure that you touch all the spots on the light. Just a few minutes later we're going to put our final coat on. Perfect, that's it with the spray paint. So now we're gonna wait a whole day. The paint dries in 24 hours to full clarity and then we'll see what it looks like. Fast forward to the next day and this looks awesome. We can take off our overspray garbage bag cover. This headlight looks amazing. You can see the optical clarity looks great. Looks almost new. Not only does it look good, but it's gonna protect the headlight as well with the UV clear coat. It's gonna bounce all those harmful UV rays out and it'll prevent any future yellowing or hazing or oxidation. This is permanently gonna stay like this. Now at this stage, we have two options. You could leave it as is, or you could do a wet sand. And the wet sand is just gonna take away any orange peel, which is typical of spray paint. Just get your 2,000 or 3,000 grit sandpaper and you're gonna wet sand it just like we did before. Make sure you have a lot of water, you wet sand it, and then your final step, whether you wet sand it at 3,000 grit or you just leave it as is, you wanna add some Carnuba car wax. Just get your microfiber towel, add wax, just like you're waxing your paint job, because now this is clear coated. And once that wax starts to haze up, you could buff it right out. And that's the finish, it looks amazing. Now let's take the blue tape off. And that's how you make your headlights permanently clear. This came out amazing, it'll come out just as good for you, and it only costs $10 a headlight. You didn't even have to take the headlight off the car if you didn't want to. Hopefully this video was helpful, if it was, remember to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. Up on the screen are going to be a couple of how-to videos. To get to those videos, you can click on the screen or find the links in the description below. Also in the description below are going to be the links to Chris Fix Facebook and Twitter pages. Check it out.